Hi there, Paul Dombowski, Liberty Street Software. We had recently had a, somebody ask uh, about images and asset management. They wanted to all the technical details, so we're going to try and go over that in this video. Uh, first of all, asset management stores all the images that you are attached to assets in a, a single folder. It's called the uh, Images folder, and to get there, you simply select File, go to My Images folder from the main menu, and as you can see basically what it does is create an individual JPEG image for each asset um, image that you've used so uh, let's take a uh, let's take an existing image right here so basically the way it works is it takes the unique ID every time you create an asset asset manager creates a unique integer ID and in this case it's 1198 for this asset and then it creates a file and the way the file works is puts the string asset attaches the unique ID which is 1198 as you recall and then in uh, the brackets or parentheses here you see the number of the image each asset can have up to 16 images so that number in brackets could be any number, number between 1 and 16 what it also does is create a thumbnail image uh, and that's basically for performance purposes because when you click on an asset in this list view here uh, uh, if we did not have a thumbnail image the, the program would have to compress the image and enable to show it in thumbnail format as you see here so it's basically for performance purposes so so there you go that's how the assets are asset uh, image files are are named and um, another question that the same person asked, which was a very good question, is could I um, attach images to an, an asset and then delete the original image file name? And the answer to that is yes. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate that. Uh, let's take this HP ProBook 440 and attach an image to it. So we just double click to edit the, the asset, click on the item pictures, and we can use the load image button here. And we're going to go into pictures. And down here we have an image of the HP Pro Book. Okay. So there in the pictures uh, folder we have HP Pro Book. I believe it's a J yeah. I believe it's a JPEG file. HP Pro Book JPG. And when we click open and OK, it's going to attach that image to the asset. And in the images folder again. see here uh, it's created two files one for the basically it's copied the the image file that we attached it's and converted it if necessary to a JPEG file for example if you attached a BMP or a, a GIF file uh, asset manager will convert it to a JPEG and then create a file in the images folder and then of course it creates a thumbnail as I talked about previously so 1181 is the unique ID of the asset and just to demonstrate sorry I got the wrong if I delete the original file that I attached to that asset I'll just go ahead and do that look at pictures and file is down here so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and it's been deleted and I go back here and program still sh still showing the uh, image properly as like I said previously it's created a completely new graphics file so okay uh, that's all I have for this video thank you for watching take care bye bye